Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. Work hard and be nice. I love going to my gym. Well, love is perhaps too strong of a word. Let me correct that. I really like going to my gym and love what it does for me. I always feel refreshed and revitalized after a good cycling class or swim. Yes, that's a good summary. I like my gym and I love what I get from going. Translating this into the workplace, I found that most people like going to work and love the fruit that falls from the tree of their labor. There is something intrinsically satisfying about receiving payment for a job well done, regardless of whether you're an employee or an employer. We each sleep better knowing we made a contribution to the economy. There's only one aspect of my gym that stops me short of loving it, and that's the men in the locker room who refuse to wear shorts. <laughs> Without putting too fine a point on it, I find it rather distasteful when trying to enjoy the sauna or steam room to have someone sitting next to me in their birthday suit. There's only one thing worse than sitting together in the steam room in silence, and that's when the birthday boy starts complaining about this wonderful world or begins to criticise the place we both just worked out within. Bringing this back to the workplace, I believe one of the reasons some people only like and not really love what they do is because of some colleagues making them feel uncomfortable. We rarely get to choose the people we work with and so we often have to learn to work with those we perhaps wouldn't necessarily socialise with. I remember a boss I had years ago in a land far, far away who wanted his team to have a happy three hours after work on a weekly basis. As a newly married man with a young family, the last thing on my mind was to waste three hours after a day's work talking mindlessly with my co-workers about subjects I neither cared about or felt uncomfortable to actually hear about when I could actually be at home. That's exactly what goes through my mind when I'm sitting next to the dude, and in my gym, often a very old dude, who wants to chat mindlessly about nothingness, all while wearing only the suit his creator gifted him with. One of the aspects of human interaction which creates woe in the workplaces of the world is when people cast off a decorum of decency and gossip about others. To hear a co-worker talk bad about the boss criticise a colleague or laugh about the lunacy of a customer's question keeps many from loving what they do every day. See, people go to work to make money to do what they want to do with those that they want to be doing it with. In the process of all of this doing, most reasonable people want to be treated in a way they themselves want to be treated. This golden rule invisibly bonds us together and therefore deep down in our engines we know it's not right to gossip. Likewise, we don't need to bear all of ourselves to those who all we have in common is we're on the same payroll or membership roster. There's an increasing trend in the workplace that's called psychological safety, which boils down to you do you. The trouble is when others have to work or work out next to you, that actually rather you not be you if all you're going to do is complain and criticise by metaphorically sharing your junk. One of the best pieces of advice a leader gave me early in my career was to work hard and be nice. Libraries are filled with books that expand upon those five words, work hard and be nice. Whether it's between office cubes, across the workbenches or even on a group video call, work hard and be nice. Refrain from gossip, there's no need to wear your heart on your sleeve and in fact do us all a favour and cover up if your issues make others uncomfortable. If it's serious, speak to a specialist. In the meantime, work hard and be nice. I hope you found that short story useful and if you did, feel free to rate, review and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5 an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.